Hi, we're the Duran family. I'm Devin. And I'm Crystal. And this is our fostering story. <laughs> I'm from Upper Sandusky. And I'm originally from Finley, Ohio. We have three uh, biological sons, eight, five, and three. We are on number 14, 15, and 16 of foster children that have been in our home. We decided to become foster parents originally because we were having a hard time getting pregnant. We looked into adoption. It was really expensive and that wasn't something we were going to be able to do. So we were kind of researching all the options. And uh, in that we saw the foster to adopt possibility and how it would be way um, less expensive. We took interest only for adoption originally. And then as we were going through the foster classes, um, there was a couple classes that started talking about working with the family and then our whole mindset changed from strictly adopting to we were wanting to do more foster care so that we could impact more children. And so we could impact families as a whole. We saw that we could make a difference in more than just kids' lives. The thing that I would have to say is most rewarding about being a foster parent is, like we said, being able to help the family as a whole. We have seen um, parents who you know, weren't able to get jobs and they weren't able to have positive, healthy relationships with their kids. And just by us encouraging them and knowing that we have their backs, that they have a support system in us, you know, they've gotten jobs and they've kept those jobs and they've reunited with their kids and it's good situations. I'd say the, the biggest positive is just our, our ever-growing family. I mean, it's, it's not blood related. It's, there's so much more within the community through fostering and meeting all the families and working with the caseworkers that our family has grown tremendously just through this process. Well, we did have one teen in our home who, she, she came from a really rough situation. I mean, we loved her while she was here and we did do a lot for her. Now she's 18 and she lives on her own. She still calls all the time. She actually came over yesterday. We're helping her graduate this year, so she still, even though we don't talk to her every day and she doesn't live with us, um, she's still a permanent part of our family. I feel like our kids love her like a sister and she still knows there'll be times she calls us or she has nobody else to go to. She knows she can go to us, so that's a really cool feeling. Even after they're out of your home, they still want that relationship with you. At Marion County Children's Services, we lead the community in the protection of children. So our role is primarily to ensure child safety. We rely heavily on uh, neighbors, on family members, on people who are just concerned for kids and for their safety to call us and to make reports. Then we look to our foster parents. Our hope is that when foster kids are in a home that they feel like they are a part of that family while knowing that they are going to hopefully reunify with their biological family. We really need foster parents. <laughs> Don't hesitate to reach out to Children's Services when you're hearing it on the radio, when you're hearing it or seeing the flyers being put out or whatever you, Facebook media, don't hesitate. If there's something that's, that's tingling in your heart that's saying, man, maybe I could do that, maybe I could make a little bit of an impact, I would not hesitate because you don't know the opportunity that you could be providing for a kid that might need you right now. The staff, the caseworkers are there and they're more than willing to to help you through that process. Mm -hmm.